What is up, YouTube? Today, we're going to be talking about getting plugged in. So there's this company called Duripco, and they're a game development company. They host events across South Africa, in Durban, Cape Town, Port Elizabeth, where they basically let independent students develop their own games. They do this by giving us lots of caffeine, Red Bull coffee, pizza, KFC, and 18 hours where you get to develop any game that you fancy. I will be honest, I don't know where exactly it is, so we're going to have fun finding it, and I don't really have much an idea of what I'm going to be making. So join me as I develop this thing that's still going to come to me that has something to do with music and just really getting the opportunity to learn uh, probably a new programming language and uh, <laughs> I want to carry you through all of that but yeah I'm going to take you with me and show you how the event goes and what ideas are blooming in the minds of the students at NMMU. So let's be on our way then. So we're on our way to the hackathon. This is my awesome friend, James. I should tell you, we actually don't know where we're going. We're just gonna hope for the best. So let's go find this place. This is not the right place. That's the right direction. got a beautiful little name tag so I'm just getting ready to sit down here for 18 hours and let this thing work a little bit and also just look at the ideas that all these other awesome people come up with It's called Alien Souls. <laughs> it's, it's for because it's, it's, it's this hard game called Dark Souls, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's really hard, so this is really hard. Oh, okay. And it's Alien Souls because I read yeah, the situation is some paranormal activity or something. Yeah, yeah. And I just went to Alien Souls. What makes it hard? Um, <laughs> it's hard to explain. Yeah. It's like, I guess that's what I makes it hard. I can show you. Awesome, dude. let's take a look. Oh, yes, you've really made this already since we got here. And then every time you hit something, you have to start over. That's Even really? if you get to. Oh. That's awesome. So many, how many hours has it been since we got here? It's really hard because it's so sensitive. Dude, I see what you mean. Is it exponential speed? Um, no. I think you're gonna win. No. This is Maybe awesome. No. And then you get to level two. Wow. If you do this, this really but if you die now, <laughs> you start over all the way. All the way from this. Awesome, dude. Line. This guy's name is Chris, and he's he's probably going to win. What's the idea behind your game? Behind my game, um, it's a little monster. Yes. You gotta go collect all the bones, basically. Okay. Like, but like this whole screen is going to keep moving. Yeah. So like, if you can't keep up in time, you're going to fall behind. 
Oh no, it's a lucky idea. I had to make some changes because I couldn't get the bullet to come up. I was trying to get like a um, fire bullets from the eyeball. Oh yeah, oh yeah? Oh, sure. Would you say you're into uh, into design more than coding or both? Uh, more design than coding. <laughs> this is so cool though. What's your name? I'm Zinker. Yeah? And what's your game about? Well, I've just started the platforming game. Yeah? But so far I don't have like Mm. Ground. And yeah. I basically just been focusing on the animations. Did you design that yourself? I got the sprites, yeah, but I, yeah. I coded the things and uh, yeah, I gave a tech animation. That's awesome, dude. That's freaking amazing animation. And I have the slide, but I'm obviously sliding in the air still. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> That's cool, man. I'm Brodden. And what's the idea behind your game? It's like a wave-based survival game, yeah. but then you have control over which way your gravity goes. Yeah. So it's like if you want down to be that way, you make down that way just to, to get sort of get away from the enemy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, it's a tiny screen. Take it over. Rotate the screen. Oh, sweet. So they, they should start spawning at some yeah, point. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, sweet man. You can do that to get away from the enemy. Nice, I like it. Cool. I like it. And you, you just started when you got here? Yeah. And you designed those those things by yourself or got templates? Um, I got a spreadsheet. Yeah. yeah. I'm not, yeah. not an artist, so... Yeah. No, I understand you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you see my work, you'll, you'll see I'm not an artist either. <laughs> That's awesome, man. And you, Bru? What's your um, name, then? Bradley. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. <laughs> Um, I started out with a, a fairly like happy and like funny concept of just um, sort of like a platform where um, yeah, the character will like run through and um, I don't know, have to like dodge different situations. Yeah, and yeah. Funny. Um, but then I got stuck on like camera manipulation, so I turned okay. into a very sad game. About how, <laughs> how life is hard. Yeah. And um, so, so, basically, so basically, it runs along the lines of you have to try and avoid. Sadness. Sadness. <laughs> Sadness and um, other difficulties. Uh, like Self-worth. <laughs> Failing. So, and then after, after your character's had a bit too much, you'll see you'll start to frown. Yeah, and, you'll, and you'll commit suicide and, or something. And then if you've had a little bit too much... Um, death. Yeah. The black screen of death. Oh, yeah. What's your name, man? I'm Byron. Byron. Oh, like the name tag in the case. Yes. <laughs> um, what's the idea behind your game? sort of like a, a portal-like game, so yeah, yeah. instead of playing, you know, like a portal character, whatever, you play as a man in the dark, yeah, so he's yeah. his best friend. Okay. Um, yeah, you obviously control both characters at once. Sure. Oh, well, you can't control both characters, I'm sorry, so you, you can switch between two. Oh, I see what you mean, I see what you mean. So, for example, the man can't jump across here, yeah. but the dog is faster, so he can. Ah, oh. so and... Is this uh, your first time in Unity? You've got some experience? Um, this is actually my first time in Unity. No! <laughs> yeah. No! I've okay. spent a lot of like, hours like, in the last like, week just trying to get used to it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I haven't awesome. done games stuff before, but like okay. games. Yeah, yeah. Stuff, yeah. Sweet, dude. That's awesome. Well, I'm going to make a round here again, Nana. And, uh, well, not Nana. Later. Sure. And uh, see how you guys are doing. Okay, cool. Sweet. What's up, James? So, how's your program working so far? Getting there, getting there. Okay, okay. So, what does your program do? It's, it's rendered in Rubik's Cube in, uh, in Unity, yeah. and it's going to, it, it's, it should solve it reasonably quickly, the, however... What's it doing now? Really? Is it solving it? Yeah, it's solving it. No way. Did you, did you put, put in those algorithms yourself? No, I, just, I recreated them um, in Unity, oh. yeah. but I, I got the references from, from online and everything. This is beautiful, dude. I'm actually so stoked. This is, this is gonna be because it's it's different from what everyone else is doing. That's what's awesome. It's fine. I'll speed it up in the YouTube video. Damn, nice. So the little green thing is just where the enemy spawn. Um, yeah. You get a couple of them every every round. So yeah, you, can, you can turn your screen like like to uh, yeah. sort of change which way it's down. And then the, uh, the the big yellow guys get stuck behind the walls. And yeah. The flying ones um, can fly through walls, but then the yellow ones also do more damage. So that's kind of the. Uh, oh, sure. Thing. And how do you die? Demonstrate death. Okay. And. Uh,
Oh, where's the blood? <laughs> oh, nice. Cheapest fruit that you download a texture pack or something? Like the terrain. Yeah. Um, I just modified it. Okay. Um, That's awesome, dude. And I just had to go like the glass for the car yeah. and, and for speed. And That's for cool. Yeah. The internet is going to be happy to see the skills that an enemy has. <laughs> oh, nice. Intro. Right. Here we go. Yeah, nice. Stop walking. And now, K is to die <laughs> for yes. the moment until the enemy eats you. Yes. So then, Blam. Okay. You go to the next. Oh, you die to go to the next place. Yeah. So. Interesting. This is cool. Inverted. Color scheme, and everything is all trippy. Then you're gonna have to die again when you fight the next enemy. Splat. So I just pressed K. Yeah. I'm a such brew. That is awesome. And this is happening in the other universe. And then each universe is gonna be different. Now I just need to fill the enemies. That looks amazing. That would be my screensaver. That's that's the game so far. Awesome dude. Sweet. Sweet. Oh nice. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Got something going? I know this guy. That is cool man. That is very cool. And when you die is there blood? The problem is getting me to die. <laughs> <laughs> At this stage I'm in water but I want to really go that's it my car can actually die. Yeah. Well, basically, the whole story of it is going to be well themed in the pin, like steampunk era. Yeah, yeah. And um, so the character is sort of a bounty hunter who's actually being touched by um, the Grim Reaper himself. Oh yeah. So basically, he's got this like nether world kind of powers, and all his weapons uh, plug into himself. Yeah. So he sort of drains his own life force okay. to use his weapons yep. against demonic forces. Interesting. And stuff. So that's basically the whole point. And you got it running? Uh, I got it running to some extent. As much as I can do within a small amount of time. So basically I've just got it. That looks cool. Where things will come at you and we'll try to come and kill you. Start off. There's a skeleton in there. So obviously you can collect more ammo with weapons. Yeah. with the one weapon at the moment. There's another weapon going to be up in the room up there. Yeah, yeah. When I get to that. Oh, nice dude. That's awesome. Yeah, so I'm just going to do... I still want to do sounds and things. And, yeah. That was the hackathon. It'll still go on for another couple of hours, but I'm gonna go home and probably gonna edit this video and then sleep. 7.30 and it looks like the doors are closed and we're locked inside. <laughs> but I know a man who knows a plan. <laughs> Delone. Go the way. I'm gonna have to say bye bye to you now. It's drizzling. Thank you for watching, I hope you liked it. Hit the thumbs up button if you wanna see more. Hit the subscribe button and tell your friends.